about. It's about what Andrew th showed us through that flag, his life, what he does, going to the heights of what he spoke of, and, and out looking over to the world. And now he is actually informed, transmuted into every form of energy that, is, that exists. So now he is at the highest point of all those peaks. He is the E equals MC squared. He is every form of everything that there is. And we could all revert back to the word of God and, and all this, but in the true fact of what Andrew was, he was a blessing to me when I seen him every time, every time he'd come and he'd, he'd say something about my truck. He'd like, you still have my truck. I'm going to buy your truck. And, <laughs> and now I got the little bullet with a few of his ashes in it. Now he's in my truck and he's going to ride in my truck until my truck dies or goes someplace or whatever. But that's what Andrew is. Andrew was that essence of life. Extrovert on steroids is what his mom said. Um, I mean, that's truly what that boy was, was extroverted on steroids. And he blessed all of us with that. Um, there's, I could go over Bible verse, Bible verse, but there's, there's many Bible verses that speaks of life after death. Right now, this is life after death. That boy is going to live through every single one of us in the essence of every single one of us, through our memories, thoughts, everything else. When I see somebody riding a motorcycle, I'll think of him every single time because of the way he rode and the things he did. And I mean, I thought I liked heights. I build roofs and do roof structures, but this boy took it to another level. Um, I just... I look at him and I look at the life I, I watched this family go through and the life they got to live and the blessings I got to receive through watching all of their life. The love of, I mean, my gosh, the love. And that's what he is. He is love. He is, he is embased in all of our love now. He is every form of love. There's a great spirit out there, whether somebody wants to call it Allah, God, Jesus, it doesn't matter. It's a form of love. And that's what it created all of us for, is to love one another. And Andrew did that excessively and overwhelmingly. And he is the epitome of what God wanted all of us to see. Whether he did it right or wrong, we all do. Um, he blessed us with something that was beyond religion, anything else. This boy lived life to the fullest. And if we can take anything from today, and when we doubt ourselves in any form, allow Andrew to be part of us. And that's what he's become. He's become Pyrethrum's theory of A plus A squared plus B squared equals C squared. He is the form of what we are now. Mm -hmm. He is everything into what we are. He is that love. And when we see that and when we can do that ourselves and go out and share that love to the world around us through the form of light and love and, and prosperity and flags and, and motorcycles and riding and, and just being part of what he was and express it in the form of the gift of what Andrew did for all of us. And I know what he did for me as a man and I know what this family has done for me and being around it and, and being able to experience people push through things, adversity that I have never seen anybody be able to push through with a straight face. And I watched this young man live a life of overwhelming abundance of, of outflowing energy. And um, if I can take anything today, that's what I'm taking with me is that outflowing energy to be able to speak out when I don't feel like speaking out, um, especially about the patriotism that this young man stood for and what we need to stand for as a nation and to make sure that the message that he wanted to this world to be performed into the world and making sure that we stand for our flag and that we stand for our God, whatever God that may be that we all have. 
And he knew that God because we've seen it through his love. And it doesn't matter how he did it. He did it with stars and stripes. He did it from standing on top of a, a tower, looking over the world, looking all over us. And in totality what it is now, he oversees all of us in every form, period. And when anything that can be taken from today, let it be his love and his outgoing energy that is poured into every single one of us now. And that he is never going to be away from us. He is with all of us at a single point in time. When he was in form of flesh, and now he is back to the dust of the earth is what's promised. Okay? His eternal spirit lives in every single one of us. And it will live in every single one of us. Every time one of us think about him. And it will happen over and over and over. And he will live eternally. And that's God's promise for us. Is that it's eternal life. And every single one of us in this room are going to die. And every single one of us are going to be transmuted into eternal life. And that's the form of what God created us into. And that's energy. And that energy lives in all of us. And let it be his love and his form and outpouring beauty to the world. Thank you, Andrew. No matter what laws he had to break, what school, no matter how many times he got 